but I kept looking in the mirror. I kept going into the ladies' room and think, I look pretty good. Like, you know, I haven't looked this good in years, like at least 15 years. And, but I just felt young and it just changed my whole attitude. It changed the way I lived my life. It changed how I presented myself. Um, all of a sudden I was going to the parties. I was not afraid. I mean, I get, I go to the work and I'm next to Fenway Park and all of a sudden I go to a ticket and I go to a game by myself, you know, like this is me. And I started to lose my hair in my late thirties, but I always have very thick hair and I started to lose it gradually and I went, I, gradually that I knew but not that much and I would try different things and put hair pieces on and hair pieces on top of hair pieces and I went about hair transplants and I was so self-conscious that I probably didn't look in a mirror for 10 years. I learned how to put lipstick on without looking in a mirror and I only used a, a pocket mirror to put eye makeup on so I never had to look at my face because I just couldn't stand to see what I look like. And it made me like 10 or 15 years older. So I just didn't look. I used to be an accountant and change careers, like a midlife career change around 46, and decided to become a court stenographer. A court reporter means the same thing. Then I worked on a trial that was on TV. Well, sometimes we would high, have high profile. And it wasn't a trial, it was actually Sometimes you would get Core TV or the local TV station in to do an arraignment. It was only maybe a five or ten minute thing, but I would be in the shop. And my family would call and say, we just saw you on TV. Well, all of a sudden, I look and you could see the ball spot. And I was crying. I just didn't know what to do. And it got so bad that um, if there was a family occasion, I could literally, and it took me years for me, and actually therapy for me to realize that the day of whatever I was going to, a wedding, a party, whatever, I would start vomiting. And I could make myself run a fever. And I would call and say, you know what, I've got the flu, I can't go, and I just wouldn't go. And I probably, if you went through pictures of the family, I'm probably not in any, or very few, because I either took them or managed to be in the bathroom or somewhere, because I looked at least 15 or 20 years older. So my very first day of going to work, I got my new hair on a Saturday, went to work on Monday, and we have a large murder trial, or a high profile murder trial that's gonna be televised on court TV. And I am petrified because I see myself on TV and it's a horror show, horror show. And first of all, I walk into work and everybody's seeing the new me because I want redhead, which I had a mousy brown before. And I went redhead and I sat there and I'm so nervous, but I kept looking in the mirror. I kept going into the ladies room and think, I look pretty good. Like, you know, I haven't looked this good in years, like at least 15 years. And now some of the people from Court de Vie are saying, yeah, great, the coloring is great on TV. And, and I kind of wear like bright colors or whatever. And so I looked and that night it was on the news. It was, it was every day because it was a big case. And so every day it was on the news and, but then it was on totally and my family is taping it and my phone did not stop that night. My family is calling saying, you look fabulous, you look fabulous. And I put the TV on and I taped it and I couldn't stop watching myself and saying, I'm like 20 years younger, like this is me. And the color and it like fit my personality because I didn't have a picture of me as mousy brown personality because I laugh a lot and smile a lot and I'm just, you know, and but I just felt young and it just changed my whole attitude. It changed the way I lived my life. It changed how I presented myself. Um, all of a sudden I was going to the parties. I was not afraid. I mean, I get, I go to the work and I'm next to Fenway Park and all of a sudden I go to a ticket and I go to a game by myself. I'm sitting with some firemen drinking beer. I mean, it's, you know, like this is me. And the whole experience has been so uplifting and so when people just say oh you look great or or I'll have people say that hairstyle just flatters you or something it's just the best feeling in the world and there isn't money that could pay for this feeling.